And here I have uh, my literature review for ORLD 611, our problem paper. And uh, I went through the research portal and, and pulled out all of these files. And then uh, I exported them from, this is in Zotero, I exported it. And then I imported it, them into uh, NVivo. And I will show you how I um, did that in detail, but I want you to see the end product first. Uh, then you can get a report, various reports, um, where you can look at um, all of your uh, citations. by categories that I created. Um, and so in this particular case, um, I created a category for the, all the abstracts. And I'll zip through those for all the ones I, I pulled out the abstract. Let's go through a little quicker. Um, then I identified codes that were stereotypes. Uh, the concrete ceiling in that one, barriers for women executives in this particular example. And in this one file, I had several citations. It shows them. Uh, lack of access, McGee, one, presumed incompetence. There's one citation from Carton and Rosette, 2011. Some history, that, that one. And then another history from McGee, several examples. The first thing you do is to get into the research portal. So I get in this way and then click on the library. Um, I like this. So put in my favorite topic, log in. These are all pre-filled in because I've been in here before. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm going to click on peer review and search. Okay, now it's peer review. All right, so uh, I'm going to look at this one. And I'll say, oh, okay, I'm going to admire that. I'll click on it, the PDF. And I see I haven't signed in here to sign in. Uh-oh, what happened with that? I don't know. They'll tell me something. Okay, so I'm going to flip to uh, Zotero and launch that. I'm going to create a, a test um, literature review collection. flip back to my document and save this to Zotero. You see it says saving right here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my results, click on that. I'm going to look at this one. Oh, that looks good, I guess. Okay, let's select another one. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to uh, select one that's got the full PDF so I don't have to 
fuss around with how do I get it. Um, click on that. And then click on the little Save to Zotero icon. And let's go back and look in Zotero, and we should have two. Okay. Now I'm going to show you uh, a simple example. Um, just for the sake of uh, getting through this, I've loaded three files for us to look at. And I'm going to select three of them and export them by right-clicking the mouse, clicking on Export Items. And I'm going to click Save. OK, now I'm going to go to Zotero and create a new project and call it Test Clip Review. get started I'm going to import what I just exported import okay. and the first thing that I do and you'll see why this was good uh, I'm going to rename these files. I'm going to open them up by double clicking them. And I'm going to name them to be the, the way the citation would read, uh, the author's last name. And let's see, let me find the date. The date is 2017. So I'm going to rename this. You just click once, and then it'll turn a dark blue. And then you can just go ahead and type. Double click the next one. Oops, I should have said in others. So let me uh, get back up there. At, uh, okay, good. Double click this one. Okay. So this is going to be, let's see, who is this? Ubain. 2007 and others okay double click the next one uh, Grubman 2005 So let's um, do what NVivo calls coding. And um, I'm just going to just read just a couple of things. Uh, so I'm going to create a code. I'm going to call this a paradox. And you can change these later. This is just my initial sense. I think there are better ways to do it if you consider everything that you might want to have in advance, but I'm not doing it right now. Uh, I'm going to just select that one called uh, Leadership. Create a new code called Leadership. Okay, that's enough. Now let's go to the second one. And I see another paradox. Let me highlight that. 
and I've already created paradox so I'm gonna select that and okay what else do I say um, I'm gonna call this leadership and then I say okay well maybe I want to create another one maybe I want to call that um, dynamics so I can create more than one category if I want click OK all right let's go to the last one just for an example and uh, let me pull this over a little bit so I can read it better pull this over a little bit okay oh okay so here's a definition so, And here's a uh, complexity leadership theory. I'm going to highlight that for leadership. Hi highlight this other one for leadership. Okay, so that's enough. So now, let's say I'm finished my literature review and I want to want to report on everything I have. I'm going to go down here and, and double click on reports. And I'm going to click on um, coding summary by code report and I'm just going to click on OK all right then I'm going to click on share then print I'm going to set, save it to Adobe right now oops let me close my previous one out first. Okay, save. So there it is. So I have my definition of complex adaptive systems. That's where that is. Something about dynamics. That's what that is, where that is. I coded leadership, so I've got something here from Grotman 2005, Kat Kenazad 2017, Oban and others 2007, two different citations from that, and so on. So I can create a file where I want to go back if I want to talk about leadership, then I know where I've cited relevant pieces um, of literature.